morning hello my dear student how are your studies i hope you are doing well right so welcome to our taposi educational tutorial channel i hope you watch and listen my videos carefully and will enjoy let's start geometry geometry derived from the ancient greek word geo means art and metron means measurement geometry is a branch of mathematics concerns with questions of shape size relative positions of figure and properties of a base a mathematician who works in the field of geometry is called a geometer early as the 16th century bc by the 3rd century bc euclid the first given the concept about geometry after then 1302 1880 some great mathematician or geometers like a leonard da vinci rene descartes and the leonard ulert they contribute the great to construct the geometry field here today i am going to discuss about the lines and angles in this chapters student you will learn about point line line segment ray plane parallel lines intersecting lines and perpendicular lines we will also learn about angles their measurement types of angles angles made by a transversal transversal and the relation among them hello my dear student today i am going to discuss about point so what is point a point is a mark of position right and it is represented by a small dot a point has number 1 no length number 2 no breadth number 3 no thickness right and it is denoted by capital letter like a dot like b dot like c and dot like p dot like q etc right now the line sec line what is line so a line is a a line is a a line is a collection collection of position point points points along along an endless endless straight straight path right so if we draw a line so a line look like this okay a line look like this a point and point b so it is it has only the length and no breadth a line passes through the two point a and b is denoted by a b like this way like the read as like ab or we can write ba like this way okay so this two arrows like here arrows and here we indicate here the both side of a line shows that line can be extended up to 
any length hence it is endless and it is endless right now here we discuss about the line segment what is line segment line segment okay so what is line segment a line segment a line segment segment is a part is a part of a line of line from from one fixed point fixed point to the other right so it has it has to end point end point so here so here a and b it is a line segment right and a definite length line segment line segment ab ab bar or ba bar like that is shown here is shown here right so although a line segment has a definite length it is also consist of a infinite number of point right straight now here i discuss about a ray what is ray ray a ray a ray a ray is a part is a part of a line a line which which started which starts from from a fixed a fixed point point and and moves moves endlessly in the same direction same direction right student so here so here if i draw a ray a ray like this way now point a and point b so a is the initial point of a ray so here we indicate like this like this so a arrow on one side of a arrow shows that the ray extend indefinitely in one direction only so a ray has only one end point known as it initial point initial point right now here i another important thing is plane so what is plane so here we discuss about plane a solid a solid a solid has a surface surface right which may which which may be may be 
flat, flat or curve, curve. For example, the surface of a wall is flat and surface of a ball is curve, right? So, a plane consists of infinite number of point and lines. We represent like that. Here we represent this is a plane that I draw here. Okay. So, point A, point B, point C. So, it is denoted by a small letter like a P or Q by three point, not a straight line, okay, drawn on it. A plane P or ABC is shown here. Right, student? Now, the parallel lines, parallel lines. Two lines which lies in the same plane and do not meet even when extended indefinitely are known as parallel line. If I draw a parallel parallel line, a parallel line draw like this, a parallel line. Suppose like this a parallel line here M and N two parallel lines they maintain the equal distance between them that means when it extend it never be meet each other or intersect each other the distance between two parallel lines always remain the same that means lines M and N are parallel to each other and represent by M M parallel N right so read as M is parallel to N right now another topic is here the intersecting line so here I write inter intersecting line. Okay. So intersecting line we draw like this. And here O is the intersect point. So, the two lines which lies in the, in the same plane and have a common point O are known as intersecting lines. The common point is known as the point of intersection. Point, point of intersection intersection right student so lines m m and n are intersect with o as their point of intersection right student now the another part is like a perpendicular lines what about the perpendicular lines? Perpendicular lines. Okay. So here, perpendicular lines, I draw like this. Now, 
a line is perpendicularly intersect 90 degree okay here same name is there m and n okay now the two the two line m and n are said to be perpendicular if they make an angle of 90 degree at the point of intersection at the point of intersection right line m line m is perpendicular to the line n and it is represented by m perpendicular by n like that okay so we read as m is perpendicular to n now few properties are there of lines number one number one we write here so here is number one properties the indefinite of a straight line can be drawn a point suppose a point is here now we draw like this okay here we draw like this so point O each and every line intersect each other perpendicularly number two one and only line passes through the distant point in a line in a plane like this suppose here a ray or line here a and here i draw like this okay and b here now number three properties is the two different lines in a plane are either parallel or intersect at exactly one point exactly one point this is two lines are parallel okay so here m and n and on the two line intersect like this so this one inter inter Sectin lines lines and this is parallel parallel lines okay now here we discuss about the collinear point so what is the collinear point so three or more point are known as collinear point if all of them lie on the same line and otherwise they are known as non collinear points here i draw a line right here point p point q and point r these are all point said to be collinear collinear points points right but another if i draw a line like this and here point b and point C and point A is here. So it is said to be non collinear 
near points right i hope my dear student you understand this part very well in the next time i will bring for you a new part of this chapter so please subscribe my channel share with your friend and don't forget to click the bell icon see you next time thank you for watching